right, right here I'm inking a panel from my story, The Silent Gun, that I'm doing with Ron Fortier. Just, you know, taking my time here and put those X marks in there. Obviously, because that's where I'm going to be blackening in. And I just, you know, sometimes I just, when I'm inking, I just, I tend to be kind of loose. And I actually like and prefer that kind of style, um, even in my drawings, when I'm doing loose drawings and kind of still go in loose with the inks. Just have a better feel for it, you know. A lot of my comic penciling and stuff like that, I tend to do kind of tight, only because, you know, I just have this thing. Whereas if I'm not inking the page myself, you know, I want to make sure that there's no misunderstanding with whoever is that happens to be inking my page. So I tend to kind of almost overdo it. Um, but you know it's not always like that you know sometimes I build a decent rapport with uh, with an inker and I, I get to understand you know how they work and they get to understand how my lines work and that sort of thing and so you know I don't have to be a slave to that and I can kinda you know be a little bit looser and allows them to kinda be creative as well you know so they're not just saying, staying so true to what I put down. And it, it works, you know, a lot of times. But, you know, preferably I, I do prefer to ink my own my own work only because I just kind of like some of the accidental things that happen along the way, you know. Like you put a, a stroke down and, you know, it's not exactly the way it's it's penciled, but yet, you know, it's still works, you know. Like even here as I'm doing this kind of tied handkerchief, you can see that I'm not necessarily following exactly what I penciled, but, you know, some of the little flecks and that sort of thing kind of add the texture and um, some kind of nice little things. That guy, was it Bob Ross? You know, he was a happy little clouds or happy little accidents or whatever you know, kind of letting the tool, as you're wielding it, kind of do its thing. And, you know, that's kind of like how I like to work at times. So, so yeah, so, you know, um, kind of doing this thing. I think this is like the first Western comic that, Western story that I've ever done. So, I want to thank Ron for writing a, a good story here. So, you know, you guys make sure when this is available to pick it up and, uh, you know, enjoy. You know, it's a, it's a good story. So, hopefully uh, I'm doing his uh, story some justice by what I'm, what I'm drawing here. So, I'm hoping he's happy with it. I think he will be. I've shown him some stuff already seems to be pretty thrilled by it so anyway that's it for now and that'll be blackened in so here let me just kind of finish this off a little bit here this character here is like like the big black bar you know <laughs> um, kind of like the muscle of, of this little trio here you know, you can tell, it's a big dude, big gruff beard, shotgun, the whole nine yards, so, anyway, that's it, and, uh, alright, well, we'll see you, have a good day.